Hi, this week on Tuesday's Tips with Tank, we will be changing out a old water valve. Yesterday we were in the basement doing some cleaning and we noticed some leaking valves. And this is something that you can easily do if you feel comfortable, but if you don't feel comfortable, always hire a plumber. And if you need somebody, we could highly recommend some great professionals. We can, what we're going to use are what's called shark bites. We will be replacing uh, soldered copper with just copper in these press-on press, press -on fittings. They work very well, they're very fast, and any homeowner can do it, including you. Some items that you will need are a marking device, a measurement device, a standard pipe cutter, length of pipe if you're using copper. Obviously, you need to make sure you have the right size. We have three quarter diameter pipe here that is copper and we have a three quarter to three quarter coupler and a three quarter ball valve. What I have here is a standard three quarter inch ball valve. Okay, the way these work when it's in the on position, there's actually a ball inside there that opens up and shuts. You can see it's in the open position or the on if I were to move it to the off position inside there, you'll see it shut. It's an easy way to stop flow from going through. The first step you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off the water source. This here is my main water. There's the water meter. And we're going to righty tighty lefty loosey. So we're gonna turn it to the right and turn it off. This will stop the water from coming in the house. Next, you wanna go over to the lowest water source you can get to and drain the cold water only. Don't wanna drain the hot water. It shouldn't take long. And what I do is I actually leave that on. It's gonna take a little bit of time to let the water run off the pipe. There's no more pressure. I leave it on and it will stop running. You'll be able to hear it stop running. And there we are. We're see the water is still on and we just have a slow trickle you'll never get all the water out of the lines but the most you, the more you can get out the better it's gonna be a lot less messy here is our leaky valve as you can see we have some hard water and some corrosion with this copper and brass I know we noticed it was leaking because it was leaving some water marks down here on our tank so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here with my pipe cutter. And I'm gonna get rid of this little valve here, this little union, and cut right below it as well. I'm going to have to support this so when I cut this, this doesn't fall and damage it is an expansion bladder, okay? Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark where I want to cut. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pipe cutter here, and all it does is it fits around here, and then there's two wheels on the bottom and a blade on top. And you spin it around until it fits. Found a good spot to put the camera. Go ahead and fit on my pipe. Have my bucket ready to go. Put it on there. Now, 
If you have a Sawzall, you could use one of those as well, but I prefer not to use a Sawzall. I feel that a pipe cutter doesn't give you those jagged edges that a Sawzall may give you, and you're less likely to do major damage. Uh, we will get some residual water when we cut this. So I have a bucket ready to go. As I'm turning it, I am tightening as well every couple turns. There we go. I'll go ahead and start doing the bottom one. Loosen it up a little bit. in my way here. Got a little bit of uh, residual water still coming out so I'm going to go ahead and put my shark bite on there by pressing up twisting it on there I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and it stops the water instantly next thing I'm going to do I am going to be putting on this coupler onto the bottom pipe over there and then I will be able to measure how tall of a piece of a pipe I need to put on there. Now with these couplings, you need to go ahead and put the pipe all the way up to about right here. So it's not just the edge of the couplings. That's a fairly easy misconception for a first time homeowner to do that. Next, I'm going to take my pipe cutter and cut me a five and a half inch piece of pipe. As you can see, when it cuts, it scores the metal. When it turns. Nice piece of cut pipe. And come on over here. Press my pipe up into my fitting and fit it on here. Press down, squeeze them tight, and it will set itself. Now turn that on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our water and see if we have any leaks. So you want to make sure you don't have any leaks. So you dry it off and see if any more water comes up. Looks like we may have a little seating situation there. I'm going to go ahead and reposition it. And as you can see now, we had a little leak. It wasn't seated all the way in, but now we have zero leaks and the valve has been replaced. See you next week. Keep it safe.